Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. We're going to begin tonight with an image that many will find upsetting. It shows the dangers so many are willing to try to face to sneak into this country. A father and young daughter drowned in the Rio Grande. As the photo went viral, fingers of blame were pointed. And here's what the president said today, sounding off on Democrats. They want to have open borders, and open borders mean crime, and open borders mean people drowning in the rivers. Omar Villafranca is at the border with more on the people in this disturbing picture. It's a haunting image of desperation. Oscar Alberto Martinez Ramirez and his almost two-year-old daughter Valeria face down in South Texas's Rio Grande. The child's arm still holding onto her father's neck after they both drowned trying to cross into America. As the bodies were taken away, his wife, Tania, can be heard sobbing. Oscar's mother in El Salvador broke down when she heard the news. The last message he sent me was on Saturday. He said, Mama, I love you. He said, take care of yourselves because we are fine here. The final act of desperation came after weeks of trying to seek asylum at the U.S. consulate in Mexico. But the family says they couldn't get anyone to talk to them. The image brought immediate comparisons to Elon Kurdi, the three-year-old Syrian refugee who drowned just outside Turkey during Europe's refugee crisis in 2015. People are coming up. They're running through the Rio Grande. It's a rough, it can be a very rough river of sorts. President there Trump reacted to the photo saying, I hate it, but Grand. quickly blamed the Democrats in Congress for not changing the asylum policy that he says has encouraged the migrant surge at the border. Well, that's like I've been saying. If they fixed the laws, you wouldn't have that. Senate Minority Leader photo. Chuck Schumer shot back. These are not drug dealers or vagrants or criminals. They are people simply fleeing a horrible situation in their home country. Mr. Bozeman, aye. This afternoon, the Senate passed a $4.6 billion humanitarian aid package Mr. for the border after rejecting if a not, House measure. Button, House Speaker off, Nancy Pelosi called again, President Trump saying there needs to be negotiations. The political posturing in D.C. doesn't change the reality at the border. Seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds being told to care for children who are toddlers and infants. Elora Mukherjee is an attorney who recently toured Custom and Border Protection's Clint facility, where hundreds of migrant children are being held. CBP has downplayed her description of conditions being unsanitary when she visited the facility last week. I don't know how the government will be able to fix those systemic problems in one day's time. Today, CBP officials allowed reporters into the facility for a tour. And Omar Villafranca, as you saw there, just toured the facility in Clint. Omar, what was it like inside? Well, Maurice, it is crowded. There's currently 117 kids in there. Capacity is 106. CBP officials actually took us to where the food is, where the food supplies, toiletries, where they shower, where the kids sleep, where they play if there's actual space. And what we saw kind of contradicts what the attorneys are saying, but keep in mind, this was a guided tour. We were not allowed to talk to any of the children. So when it comes to the battle of words between CBP and the attorneys, it's he said, she said. Maurice. Okay, Omar Villafranca tonight. Thank you.